Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about how much my discoid roach colony has grown since I started. It has been 7 months and I originally started with just 3 females, 3 males, and around 20 nymphs. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few more things that I've learned, such as a food to make their numbers really pop, their mating, molting, and a few other tidbits. But first, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I cover a range of feeder related topics such as caring for and breeding your critters. And with that out of the way, let's start the video. First, let's talk about our numbers. They are really starting to pop. I started feeding them tangerines. As I learned, they really like citrus fruit. I feed a little less than half of one every two days, and at first, they only cleared half of it. Within a month, they are consuming the whole piece I place in there. I've also learned that with my current conditions, the tangerine will not last longer than two days without molding, so this is perfect. So I have finally reached a happy medium to avoid mold. I am starting to put a little more in, along with two different types of dry food. One, some people took issue with for one of the bases I used, and the other, containing oats, black-eyed peas, checks corn cereal, and dehydrated apples. At this point, I cannot attempt to appease them any further, as I have already left their Facebook group. I will say my roaches prefer the first mix I made over the new one. As I run out of the old one, I will be switching them over to the new mix completely, unless they do not eat it, and if they don't, then it's back to the drawing board. Let's take a moment to talk about their mating. I have finally, and I mean finally, caught the whole process on video. Their mating is done rear to rear. After the male does his wing flapping dance, if the female is receptive, they both turn around and consummate their union. They will sit quite still for several minutes. I apologize for the footage being more blurry than usual. This was the only time that I've actually caught them in the act of mating. Since we are talking about mating, I'd like to show you an aborted egg sac, or Uthaka, as it is properly called. Sometimes roach pregnancy fails, and they get rid of the Uthaka, be it by stress, be it by poor conditions, etc. There are many variables that could lead to this. This is the second one I found in 7 months. I am not 100% sure how good or how bad this number is. However, I am happy not to have found more. I do my best and try not to disturb the roaches often now. Lastly, let's talk about molting. As you can see here, this is either a large nymph or freshly molted adult. I cannot quite tell as what could be the wings have not fully formed and I have never witnessed an adult that was white. I have only seen adults be shiny and fresh looking. You can tell a young adult from the rest of them by how pretty and how perfect their wings are in comparison. This is one of my older adults, now a younger one. See the drastic difference in their wings? I've noticed the older they get, the calmer they are. It may be due to interacting with me more and thus not being afraid of me. Right here is a male that I can pick up by his sides. One thing I had noticed about him is that he is missing one leg and part of his antenna. I'm not sure how this happened, but it seems to have made him extremely docile. As you can see, I can just pick him up and do whatever. But that about covers it guys. Just wanted to give you an update so you could see how my colony has grown and what to expect if you pick some up yourself. It does not take many. If you like this video and have it in your critter loving heart, give me a like, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos in the future like this. And as always, from the gizzards and I, have a wonderful day.